Friday. I think I haven't spoken to you guys in like a week. And per every day of this week, I woke up not very refreshed. Refresh, sorry, my voice is still raspy because I literally just woke up. Just poured myself a cup of coffee and grabbed my book so I can sit down and just read a little bit and have my coffee in peace. Because this past week I have been very on edge because of obviously everything happening in Armenia. Um, it's just been very heavy and yesterday I felt like I'm not even in the mood to do anything. Like I haven't even vlogged in like a week. You have no idea how proud of my people I am. And again, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's a non-Armenian, but they're supporting us, they're sharing. Um, it's not about taking sides, it's about choosing peace. And all we want is peace right now. I have been so out of my schedule, like so out of my schedule. I didn't sleep well, I didn't eat well, I didn't do my work well. Because obviously when your mood is not the way that it should be, it's just nothing goes right so this morning i was like i just need to get back just a little bit at least to my schedule so i can feel a little bit better because when you feel like heavy i feel like you can't think right and it's just become very overwhelming i'm going to drink my coffee wake up a little bit because as i said i just woke up that's why my voice is still raspy oh my god this state of me fabulous but yeah, I'm gonna just drink my coffee, a little bit of my book. I've been absolutely actually loving this book. I haven't read that much of it. I'm like maybe a quarter in, but so far I've been really liking it. And try my best to feel just a little bit like myself again. I don't know how, but I'm trying my best to just feel better, feel a little bit more positive and come out of this negative mindset that i am in because when i'm in a negative mindset it's just everything goes wrong in my personal life in my work things i mean everyone is like that um it's the law of attraction what you think you attract um so that's why i'm trying my hardest to just get a little bit more in a positive mindset and a little bit more centered mindset but um I actually saw you guys last probably two hours ago because I've been literally reading in the past two hours. It just makes me feel good. I actually showered as well. I showered. I didn't wash my hair today because I'm going to wash it for tomorrow. Tomorrow is my best friend's wedding. Did I tell you guys about that? I think I did. But yeah, tomorrow is my best friend's wedding. So I'm going to wash my hair for tomorrow because I wanna tonight I want to put oils and Olaplex in my hair. But I want to tan today, so I shaved, exfoliated, don't have any tan on, like this is as white as I can ever be. Uh, but I want to do a little bit of pampering and getting ready for tomorrow. I like to do these things before and a special event. To be fair, self-care is a very strong game in my life. I do this probably once or twice um, a month but especially when there's a special occasion i usually leave it for a special occasion which i haven't had a special occasion like this in a very long time usually um i have a lot of weddings to go to every single year if you guys have been following me for on instagram for years you guys know every couple of months i have a cousin getting married and we go really big on our weddings uh, which is not going to be the case about tomorrow. Tomorrow's wedding is actually going to be very small. It's just going to be a wedding of 40 people outdoors, obviously, because of Corona and everything is happening. So, um, yeah, we're going to do a self-care basically after my very long rant. We're going to shave our face using my favorite Sephora collection razors. I've been loving these. I have my um, handy facial steamer here so we can steam our face. By the way, did I show you guys my nails? I did French again. Went back to my original favorite French color. Absolutely love it. It came out a little bit rounder than I was expecting it to go but it's totally fine it's now we are gonna change it in two weeks and i'll take you guys along with me tomorrow as well because there are a uh, beauty treatment that i'm gonna do tomorrow i am actually going to do the teeth whitening as well um what else are we gonna do yeah it's just gonna be like a pamper morning and then i want to get to a little bit of work because i didn't do much of work this week to be honest with you guys i'm very behind on my emails 
I try to work a little bit because creating content is just a little bit of my escape. I just feel good when I'm creating content. Let me grab a hair tie. I'm looking all sorts of fabulous today. <laughs> By the way, it's going to be a no makeup day. Just letting you guys know. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? Um, what was I saying? Anyway, if it comes to mind, I'll tell you guys. But yeah, I'm going to do teeth whitening. Maybe I was talking about that. I don't know. And then we're gonna do the last thing is that we're gonna do is our tan and I'm gonna leave it on today and I'm gonna wash it up tomorrow when I'm washing my hair obviously but yeah that's the plan of action for the day I think I have talked about this teeth whitening before as well these are the teeth whitening that I like to use they have some I think you leave it on for an hour but this 30 minutes ones are my favorite ones um, if you're being honest, because of the amount of coffee that I drink, I usually do two, t two of these, one a day before and one on a day off, and it just works better for me. So it comes with two strips, and you put the long one on top and the shorter one on the bottom. Um, shaving my face I absolutely love going all over my face because not only it removes the hair but it removes dead skin as well it just feels so smooth I'm gonna now see my face but I just want to let you guys know I still don't know what am I wearing because I ordered literally probably like five dresses from ASOS and Nordstrom I think I showed you guys a Nordstrom dress but none of them are working out for me I'll show you guys all of them one of them is too long, one of them is too short, the other one the sizing is wrong, the other one the style is not nice. Anyway, I've been having a really bad luck with finding a dress for this wedding. Um, but I'll show you guys what are the items that I got from ASOS as well after I'm done with my self-care morning. I'm not letting it. gap now front of my eyebrow oh it's a little sparse yeah <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that sharp okay this is upsetting <laughs> it's gonna take a long time for that to grow I'm just gonna start tanning now and I'm sure by now you all know how much I love Sandra products for tanning uh, I'm gonna apply this moisturizer on my like dry areas like I don't um, like hands, ankles, knees, um, and elbows, and then for my lower body, I always use this, and this is a fresh one because I finished my other bottle. This is their Express One, and it gives you a tan within like an hour. But I always like to leave this on overnight for an extremely dark tan. And for my upper body, I always go for a purity line. Um, I usually go for the gel one. This is the mousse. I'm running low on my gel, so I'm just gonna use the mousse and per regular programming I'm gonna use my glow meat I absolutely love this this is uh, Lydia's product is one of the best meat I have ever used I have realized that my obsession with coffee is entering the not so healthy state but it's fine 
I take I take joy in it and they say do the things that gives you joy so I'm just gonna continue doing that but anyway I want to show you guys the dresses that I got from ASOS I think all of them are from ASOS yes all of them I'm not gonna try them out for you guys because they look horrible on me um, it's just it doesn't do it justice but I'll insert a picture of the model wearing it so you guys can have an idea of how the dress is looking because most of these dresses are very complicated styles like by holding it up I can't show you guys the complete style of it but it's still I wanted to show you guys the dresses because I'm mad that they didn't work out to be honest with you because they looked fabulous in the models but let's start this first dress it just didn't fit me at all like i bought everything in this is a size 14 so this is a very cute dress this is how the top looks and the back is open um sideways it's open you can see this yeah the sideways it's open it's very cute it's a short dress like let me just go back and see if i can show you guys so this is how the dress is looking it has like a little bit of draping on the side um as i said these are all very complicated dresses you guys won't be able to see it um me holding it back that's why i'll make sure to insert the pictures of the model wearing them i absolutely love this dress and it was very especially the color i absolutely fell in love with the color of it but this was way small on my hip area like no way in hell it would have fit me so this is fail number one <laughs> The next dress fit me, but it has a very ugly bump on the back zipper. So it's this very cute all pearl on top and it has like just a little bit of a neck. It's super cute. It's beautiful color. Like the color palette is my favorite thing. It has a really high slit in the front. Um, it's super beautiful and like it's pretty heavy and like well-made dress uh, But at the same time in the back the zipper here. It has the ugliest bump on my body Everywhere else it fits perfectly, but that bump was very unflattering. It felt like that is pulling the uh, material but then from the bottom it was loose uh, But it's a beautiful dress the slit was everything Then we have this beautiful black dress that I knew I won't be able to pull it off but I was like, let me just try it. So it's this very cute black dress. I just realized all of these dresses are satin. I just noticed it. Apparently there was a theme happening. It's a long sleeve, puff sleeve. I mean, it's not a completely puff sleeve. It's like a puff and straight sleeve. Um, and it has like this very deep V in the front that has like wires inside of it. This V was very deep for me. Like it was open all the way until here. Um, I'm a petite... I'm not gonna say petite but I'm short um, so this was coming down like too low it has like beautiful ruching on the side and this one has a beautiful slit on the side as well actually it's not a slit it's basically like open it has like a V shape it's very sexy and beautiful but again this didn't fit me um, at least for this occasion I couldn't wear it um, yeah it was too open for my liking basically I can't believe the amount of dresses that I got and I'm still not happy with the dress that I have. So this dress was one of my favorite dresses as well. Such a complicated dress that I don't even know how to hold it up and show it to you guys. So this is how basically it should look, the top, if I ever figure it out. Okay. There we go. So this is how it's supposed to look. So this is the shoulder. It's like basically looks like a strapless dress and it has this draping on top goes all the way down it has a beautiful like slit on the other side too like on the leg but um this draping was too much too much fabric is happening here it just didn't look flattering at all um the sizing fit me this was a size 14 as well but it just didn't do it any just the draping was too much it was too busy and it just looked unnecessarily big on one side so that's why this was another fail as well this dress is my like backup option if my actual dress didn't work out because my mom has to alter my dress that i'm gonna wear um, this is my like backup one so it's basically just a regular off the shoulder like light green mintish color i don't know what color is this is this gray green i think it's green it's a very beautiful classic dress like you can't go wrong with it it sits beautifully as well um but i feel like this is very much of an old-fashioned kind of dress it's not 
I mean, I don't know. These kind of simple dresses are always in. This was not as much of a fail. It's just I feel like this is not the dress that I would want to wear to this wedding. Actual dress that I'm going to probably wear if my mom is able to alter it. Um, how do I even show this dress? So it has one long sleeve. The other one doesn't have a sleeve. This goes crisscross around the neck and this goes on your this is horrible i don't know why am i even trying to describe all these complicated dresses um but you know what it is because i've never had this many fails with asos ever usually i know my size i always get it it's always correct i barely had to exchange it for another size like when we have a wedding to go to i always get from asos because it's just the best place to get like multiple dresses to try i love that their return is so easy and i have um like two day shipping with them so like all of these i ordered them throughout the like two to three weeks but the day that i ordered two days later it's here i don't have to wait for it to get shipped anyway there's many reasons why i love asos um and i've been their customer for years and years and years but um recently i've been having a really difficult time with their sizing i was talking to my sister my sister was like how about it's not their sizing it's you i was like you're right it might be me too because i'm a very much in between size right now and i struggle even with buying jeans so probably it's not their sizing it's me uh and the style of dresses that i went for they all have like this extra fabric situation even this one has it so my mom is gonna make it a little bit smaller so it, like tuck it in basic so it doesn't have as much extra like fabric showing because for no reason the extra fabric makes you look a little bit bulky unnecessarily but yeah um this is a very beautiful dress this one another issue that i have with it is the slit is too high it's literally like high high on top of my leg so my mom is gonna try to close it but how the slit is is like it's cut into a v-shape so when you try to bring them closer to each other it like obviously tightens the dress and i'm scared when i wear it and i want to sit down it's gonna rip um i have from this dress i have a size 14 and i have a size 12 the size 14 is big on top but the size 12 fits perfectly fine but obviously because it's a smaller size the slit even goes a little bit higher so my mom is gonna work on it and see if we can alter it and see if hopefully I'll be able to wear this. If this didn't work out, then we're gonna go with that green maxi one. I need to know today what am I wearing tomorrow because I still don't know what am I doing with my makeup and what am I doing with my hair. That's the struggle that I'm having. So my mom is gonna try to alter them now so I can wear them and make sure it's all good to go so I can decide on a hair and makeup kind of situation. Those are the dresses that I showed you guys. I'm extremely hungry, so I'm just gonna eat lunch. I have a little bit of Chinese chicken salad left from yesterday, so I'm just gonna have that and get to work. And hopefully I can finish it up on time so I can have a little bit of a chill night tonight. So I'm refreshed for tomorrow and I'm like in a better mood. I mean, I'm getting, honestly, I'm feeling so much better today. I push myself to feel positive, feel good, just feel good because I really need to feel good, not only for tomorrow, but um, it's just everyone likes to feel good. And um, being in a negative space, being in a heavy space is not the way that I can operate. I just stop. It's just how my mind works. I'm pushing myself, like doing the things that I love doing, talking to you guys, creating content, I don't know, doing my self-care things, talking to my friends that I always make me feel good and just like reading book whatever it is when i feel like absolutely blocked i just like to sit down and just watch my favorite youtubers christmas vlogs because that just puts me in a really good mood it's like as soon as i even talk about it it puts a smile on my face just being in like that christmas spirit it puts me in a good mood this does not mean that i'm forgetting about what is happening but i'm um, trying to bring my mood to a state that I can think better, that I can think more positive, that I can do better for my country as well because being negative is just not a state of mind that I like to be basically. Good morning everyone. I just woke up, took a shower. It was one of the best showers I've took in a very, very, very long time. I haven't had coffee yet. So we're gonna make coffee first because 
I need to wake up. I have no idea how much I'm looking towards this coffee. I was doing fantastic until at night time. Um, it just hit me really hard. I just want to make something clear, not only in this situation, but any other situation. When there's a hardship going on and you have like a heavy weight on your shoulder, trying to be positive doesn't mean you're forgetting about it. Being positive is meaning you have hope, you have courage, you believe in goodness and you believe that goodness will happen. And I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of what you think you attract. I think I talked about it yesterday as well. I think with positive mind, when you're in a negative space, all you attract is negativity. But when you're in a positive space, in any situation, it's just your mind works better. So you are able to perform better and you're able to make decisions that are more positive and nothing, in my opinion, nothing good, good comes out of a negative mindset. Today is another day. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more positive, especially that we're celebrating my best friend today. So I'm gonna try again to be a little bit more positive and a little bit more cheerful. I'm sure this cup of coffee will help. Um, Around 11 o'clock, Anya will be here to do my hair and makeup and my sister's hair, which I'll take you guys along with me. I'll show you guys. Um, I finally decided on um, my hair and makeup. I'll show her and hopefully we can do something similar to it. Not exactly, but like inspired by it. It's super simple. Since the dress is a little bit too complicated, by the way, my dress, uh, my mom altered my dress. It fits perfectly. Not perfectly, but it fits. It works. So I have a dress, thankfully. I mean, it would have been a disaster if on the day off I didn't have a dress. But yeah, I have a dress. So yeah, Anya will be here. She will do my makeup. And obviously, I will take you guys along with me. Uh, but for the time being, I'm just going to enjoy this cup of coffee because I need this. And do my morning skincare. I'm going to do a sheet mask. I'm going to do under eye patches. I'm going to go over my face with my rose um, quartz roller, the cold one. I just took it out of my skincare fridge. And I'm going to indulge my body in body cream because after tanning, your skin feels extremely dry. So you have to always make sure you moisturize your body so the uh, tan doesn't start um, creating patches. what is happening with my camera but the lens is not working as it should i'm hoping i didn't break my camera because that would be horrible but hello from me and my semi hair do i'm almost done with my hair uh, i mean she clipped it so my curls won't open but i can't wait to show you guys the hair it's fabulous like obviously we did it half up half down it's like i put my very long extensions uh not the new ones but the previous ones that i have from bellamy it looks fabulous anya calls this the hayastan abdu hayastan means armenia if you're not familiar um because there's a story behind it and the story is that um when she was visiting armenia um she always wears her hair like this like half up half down like curls on the bottom uh, i'm not doing too many curls on the bottom i'm doing basically, basically just a wave um that's why she clipped it on top so it doesn't open up because it's just a little wave but it looks very chic since my dress has too many like fabrics going on um so that's why we're doing the hair like this and um, now my sister is doing her hair so after she's done um we will start my makeup the hair process was a little bit complicated because we didn't know what we we're gonna do we were like just talking trying different styles and stuff until we landed on this because uh, as soon as she said that's like high style stuff i was like you know what i want to do that because i don't know it just felt good to do that for today very very excited i was just talking to my friend she's getting ready she's getting her makeup done as well i'm very excited to see her we're gonna see her at church uh, which i'm very excited about did i say excited ten thousand times 
yes um i actually posted on my instagram story that i am going to celebrate my friend today and no this does not mean that i'm forgetting about what is happening in armenia at all but um and there there's a lot that goes into planning an armenian wedding um and this is a very small wedding and um but regardless there's a lot that goes into planning a wedding and she deserves to be happy in one of the happiest days of her life and i don't um and i want to be a part of that i want to make her happy um but i just want to make that clear it does not mean just because i'm celebrating something i'm celebrating it a happiness i'm celebrating union i'm celebrating um a marriage doesn't mean i'm forgetting about what is happening in my country so just want to make that clear but yeah um i am gonna go eat lunch because i'm really hungry until my sister gets her hair done then we're gonna do my makeup and obviously i'll show you guys how we do it this is the inspo that we are going by her eyes are so blue like i don't know what i think Finally ready, running really late. This is how my makeup is looking, absolutely love it. I'm so sorry the lighting is not the best here, 
um, but I'll flip the camera and I'll show it to you guys. And here is my dress that I'm wearing from ASOS. Um, it's very cute, but to be honest with you guys, it's not the best, um, the quality, not the fabric, not how it's sewed. Um, like it has a lot of like extra fabrics here that I even size down. It just still looks like that, but it's a very chic and like unique style. I really like the dress. I wanted something chic, but at the same time, like, um, unique and I feel like this dress delivers between all the dresses that I tried dress is ASOS the bag is Miss Lola my shoes are Miss Lola as well um, my jewelers are Amazon the rings um, my earrings I will link them for you guys the green one is pretty old I don't know like I like a million years old probably but it's one of my favorite pieces this is how my makeup is looking from front absolutely love it it's something that I don't usually do like I don't ever do like cat eye style because I personally can't do it on myself but this is how it's looking I won't be able to vlog the wedding so I'm gonna love you and leave you here thank you so much for coming along um, getting ready for my best friend's wedding I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you guys in my next video bye